Hi, my name is Cheryl McCallum and I work for the Children's Museum Houston. I'm the Director of Education there and today I'm reading a story as a part of our daily broadcast series. Super excited to bring to you Bean 13, one of my very favorites. I love bugs and I love math and this book puts those two together. So the author is Matthew McGilligott and uh, if you Google him online, he has lots of fun science and math books for kids aged like four to 13, depending on the book. So check him out. Um, seems like a really fun guy. So Bean 13, let's read it. So before I start, I just want to introduce you to my little dog Scout behind me. Um, so she may bark, hopefully she doesn't. So let's, let's check out the, the Bean story. It's all about a party that happens with 13 beans. So it was a warm summer night. Ralph and Flora were picking beans for dinner. So I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see it. This is Ralph over here who has the beans in his cart and Flora over here who is picking. So how many do we have, asked Flora. Looks like 12, said Ralph. I'll pick one more, said Flora. Don't do it, shouted Ralph. Why did he say don't do it? Why on earth not? asked Flora. Thirteen is an, uh, is an unlucky number, said Ralph. Everyone knows that. You're being silly, said Flora. I am not, said Ralph. You are too, said Flora. I am not, said Ralph. You, you are too, said Flora. I'm not. At home, Ralph and Flora spread the beans out on the table. They made two piles one for each of them. Each pile had six beans. Oh, look, said Flora, there's one left over. You take it, Ralph. Bean 13, gasped Ralph, never, it's bad luck. Ralph, please don't make a fuss. I'm not eating it, said Ralph, and you can't make me. I have an idea, said Flora. I'm not eating it, said Ralph. Flora called their friend April. Hey, April, like to come over for dinner? We're having beans. I don't understand, said Ralph. We're only going to feed April one bean? Of course not, said Flora. We'll make three piles. Ralph and Flora separated the beans into three piles. Each pile had four beans, one pile, two pile, three pile. There was one bean left over. Bean 13 said Ralph, I told you. That's odd, said Flora. Let's invite Joe too and make four piles, added Ralph, so it's fair. But when they made four piles, look what happened, there's still one bean left over. I don't understand, said Flora. I do, said Ralph. Bean 13 is trouble. It's just a bean, said Flora. I'll call Meg, we'll have five piles. This better work, said Ralph, as they separated the beans into five piles. Each pile had two beans. This time there were three beans left over. It's getting worse, gasped Ralph. Don't panic, said Flora. I'm calling Rocco, he eats everything. But something still wasn't right. Why does Rocco get three beans? complained Ralph. That's more than anyone else. Well, we could give him two, said Flora, but... But what, said Ralph? Never mind, said Flora. Tell me, said Ralph, but what? It's just that we'll still have an extra bean, said Flora. I'm really not sure why. Lousy bean 13, cried Ralph. I can't stand it. Ding dong, went the doorbell. Our guests are here, shouted Ralph. What are we gonna do? He jumped to his feet, he bumped the table and the beans went everywhere. Oh, Ralph, sighed Flora, what a mess. Sorry, said Ralph. Here, said Flora, take this bowl and gather up the beans. I'll get the door. Hello, everyone, said Flora. I'm so happy you could come. There are fresh beans in a bowl on the table, said Flora. Please help yourselves. 
The bugs sat down to eat. Does everyone have enough? It's perfect, you bet, just right. Absolutely, me too, how strange. Dinner was great fun, but at last it was time for the bugs to go home. You have to admit, said Flora, that worked out perfectly. It did, said Ralph, but I'm confused. What happened to Bean 13? Flora shrugged, somebody ate it. But who, said Ralph? We'll never know, said Flora. Maybe April, maybe Roku, maybe me, maybe even you. Oh. So there's Bean 13. Hope you enjoyed the story. And what you could do at home is you can get a muffin tin or anything else that you might have. And I wasn't going to use beans today, but these are treats that Scout loves. Let's see if we can get her to eat one if she wants to wake up. And then you can count out 13 and see how they separate for you and try other numbers too. These are called prime numbers and it means you can't divide them equally. So see what other numbers you can find that are prime numbers. Bye from the Children's Museum. Come visit us soon.